guys, this is Kamiguno, and today I'm doing a review for Convergence, the new Teen Titans, issue 1. And before I start talking about the new Teen Titans, just want to give you guys a couple of updates. Of course, I have Kamiguno, episode 94, and that's the show where I review all the comics I read this week in one show, and here are those exclusive comics. We got Effigy, issue 4, Postal, issue 3, Little Mermaid, issue 3, the Infinite Loop, issue 1. Thrilling Adventure Hours presents Beyond Belief, issue 1. Convergence Wonder Woman, issue 1. Guardians of the Galaxy, issue 26. Convergence Green Lantern Corps, issue 1. Convergence Hawkman, issue 1, which I also have an in-depth review on Comic Frontline 4. And Hulk, issue 15. So if you want to go check out all those reviews, go to Comic You Know, episode 94, which is annotated. But let's talk about Convergence to New Teen Titans, issue 1. A uh, very cool cover here. We get to see the classic uh, New Teen Titans. <laughs> we have um, Joe. I don't know her name. don't know her name. But um, Cyborg, Beast Boy, Donna, Starfire, and Nightwing. So classic uh, team here. And in their classic clothing of, uh, I think this is this 80s, I want to say this came out. Um, so yeah, very classic here. Uh, and very cool artwork. And also the interior artwork is pretty good too. Really enjoyed the interior artwork. Um, fit the series very well. Let's see what's going on in the story. So in this issue, it's definitely more towards Donna's point of view. So I know a lot of people are upset um, that Titans wasn't so much in Donna's point of view, more in Roy's point of view, which I, I thought was understandable because I always feel that was very much a, a Roy-driven series. And uh, this is in Donna's point of view. And, I, you know, especially because Donna wasn't in the New 52, so that's why people are upset. Uh, but if you're missing Donna, you definitely get a lot of her here in her um, her mind frame in the Dome, especially that she's away from her love. And, you know, everyone else kind of have, have each other, but she doesn't have the person she loves, and she's struggling with that. Uh, and then, you know, everyone else is struggling, too. Starfire and, um, and Nightwing are struggling with their relationship. They got married in the Dome. They think it's kind of a mistake. Starfire wants to kill people. It's, yeah, it's definitely some things going on here. Uh, and, of course, you know, everything in Convergence, they have to fight somebody and it ends up becoming the Doom Patrol, and they have to work together to save their world. And that's what's going on here. Um... You know, I enjoyed this issue a lot. I, I gave it a three and a half, but I think mostly because of the villain and the villain being in this issue so much. Uh, it, you have a focus of the Teen Titans, definitely, but I kind of wanted a little bit more. Uh, I want Yes, you had a good discussion with Don, you had, you had some good moments with Starfire and Nightwing, but I wanted more, um, honestly. And, it, you know, again, good moments, but they concentrate so much on this Doom Patrol, I'm like, ah, I really don't care about them. And it goes back to what I've been saying really a lot this week, but I've uh, been seeing with a lot of the Convergence tie-ins is that these villains have no connections to our heroes, so it's just like, oh, random villain they have to fight. So when they concentrate so much on this random villain, it's like, oh, but they're not even connected. Who cares about their backstory? Just fight them and that's it. Uh, so I think that was the biggest downfall of this issue was that they focus so much on the Doom Patrol as villains, even though, or, you know, they're not really villains, they are the hero of their world, but of course they want to save their own world. Uh, but still a good issue. If you are a Teen Titans fan, especially a Donna fan, I totally recommend this issue. You get a, a lot of good moments here. I just kind of wanted even more good moments. And also to mention, um, it does feel a little repetitive that we're using kind of the same team or the same team members in another book. I know we've gotten, you know, 10,000 Flash titles and Batman titles, but I'm actually more of a second generation Teen Titans fan. I love Cassie and Tim and, um, and Connor, and uh, we didn't get a chance to see, well, we saw some of them. We saw Connor have his own book, but we didn't really get a chance to see those characters uh, in together in a Teen Titans or Young Justice book. I'd rather had that than maybe this one. Because uh, I think Titans had a little bit more going on for it, so I would say keep Titans and then new Teen Titans. I know it's a different generation, but um, I just kind of wanted more room for uh, the second generation Teen Titans too. You know, their favorites, and it's a shame that we didn't really get to see their story here. But we got to see a lot of the, these this version of Teen Titans already. We already had two books, you know, and you could even say more books than that. Because uh, Nightwing and Oracle kind of dabbled into uh, the this version of Teen Titans also, because of Nightwing and Starfire. Uh, so yeah, overall, still a pretty good issue. I enjoyed it. Uh, definitely still worth picking up, especially if you're a Teen Titans fan. So, uh, Convergence to New Teen Titans issue 1 for me gets 3.5 stars. 
so tell me in the comments below what you thought of the issue. Uh, this is Comic You Know. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, in the description below, there's links from my comic book, like Father Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of, like, like Father Like Daughter. I'll see you guys later. Bye.